What's up, guys? This is Kicks Helper here, coming at you with another review. This is my performance test on my Jordan Superfly 2. Let me kick things off with the traction. Sorry about that. Huh. The traction has some very nice herringbone here. And it's wide at the top. And it's multi-directional right in the middle where the zoom bag is and it's full length it's pretty it's like really nice traction I would rate it almost as good as the Kobe 8 traction but it's very pliable so it will probably not be well for outdoor use because it's gonna fade away really fast okay so that's the traction and I really like it there's no need to wipe during games so that's the best part about it Next, we will go through the materials. You have this nice canvas right here that uh, fades into this hyperfuse up in the front, and it's very stiff hyperfuse. So that can be bad for some people or nice for other people if you want supportiveness or more of a comfort standpoint. You have um, this nice Phylon mid tool. It's very responsive and cushy in the heel because there is no cushion there except for that Phylon mid tool. You have a blue Jumpman right here, which the paint is chipped off. I'm very mad about that. Another blue Jumpman here. Um, a mesh tongue. And um, a little bit more fuse on the back. Oh, sorry about that. Fuse on the back with a uh, pull tab. So now let's get into um, support. So the support was very nice. I didn't even have to lace it up to the top eyelet. It was so nice. And because of this Achilles peel, uh, uh, pillow here, um, my Achilles was very secure. And it felt really nice. And it kept my foot um, nice and well supported so I wouldn't hurt myself. Uh, so it's a high top. So that's always going to give you good ankle support. Next we have lockdown. And for lockdown, again, you have this Achilles peel pillow. Um, then you have these dynamic fit systems As you can see there they're like part of the shoe and if the lockdown is really nice and you can tie it up really tight because of this nice padded tongue and this padded in uh, collar it doesn't look very padded but it's really nice when you feel it and if you want to get a better look at the support uh, that dynamic system there it is right there you just pull on it on the laces and it locks up tight so let's go on to ventilation. That was the ba the main bad thing about this shoe. The only ventilation in the whole shoe was this tiny bit of mesh in the tongue. And I would say that this is probably one of the worst ventilated shoes to come out this year. But I didn't really have a problem because I get sweaty feet, but I don't really mind. So the ventilation was probably the only downfall with this shoe. For a cushion, we have... Um, a full uh, length unlock zoom bag in the forefoot and a phylon midsole um, in the back and a nice heel cushion and then you have some flight plate right here you can see it uh, cut out to help return some energy on all your jumps and stops and then you can see a different colored phylon midsole in here in blue and it is very nice I thought this shoe was one of the most comfortable shoes I've worn so far in all my shoe collection. Um, so yeah, this is the Jordan Superfly 2. Let's just do a quick 360. You can see there's a jump man on the insole. And then BAM! The bottom. Okay. This is Kicks Helper, and I'm out. See you next video, and hopefully soon I'll be posting some more videos. But for now, this is what you guys are going to watch, so I hope you enjoy it. Out.